everybody, 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 everybody. sort of mini series we've been doing here on the channel where I try some um, snacks, some candy, some foods from around the world. And um, so far we've done American candy. I tried Japanese candy and then I put a poll out recently asking you guys where you would like to see me try candy from next. And Germany. Uh, or German candy seem to win that bowl, so hence why tonight I have a lot of different snacks and candy from Germany that we're going to be trying, so I really hope that you guys do enjoy, and if you do enjoy, you know, ASMR, mouth sounds, and whispering, and eating sounds, then this is definitely the video for you, and if you want to see more videos like this, then uh, be sure to drop a big thumbs up would really mean a lot to me and um, subscribe if you're not already it's a great way to show your support to the channel and it really helps out and um, I think I quickly do ought to let you guys know that it is very very windy tonight in uh, the UK so if you hear any background wind maybe it sounds quite nice who knows but I do apologize if at some points it can be quite aggressive. I'll try and tone it down, but I thought I would just mention that. Anyways, let's get in to the snacks. Now, I did thought it would be very, very fitting if I wore an Adidas or Adidas, however you guys want to say it, an Adidas t-shirt. And uh, I thought it would be very fitting for this German video. And, um, I put stress on the word trying German candy because I would say about 50% of the things in front of me I have tried before. So as well as trying some new things, I'm kind of just going to be, you know, eating and tasting some things that I've tried before and hopefully you can still enjoy it because German candy is quite hard to get a hold of here in the UK unless it's really really well known German candy which we'll go on to see but anyways I think I'll do a quick overview of everything that we have and then um, we'll just get into some of some of the candies so first up we have some Haribo or Haribo gold bears, I should call them. And whilst they're on the theme of Haribos, I also have some Haribo giant.
have a few more chocolate things as well. I have some Milka Oreo flavor, which seems very, very interesting. Never even heard of this before. Um, I have some Prince Biscuits. I believe in the UK we call these Prince Biscuits, but in Germany they call these Prinzen, I think. Apologies if I butcher anything tonight. Germans. I'm sure you'll correct me in the comments. Uh, I have some Mawam Blocks. Mawam Blocks. I also have selection of some here. I think I'm just going to pop them all in. Here we go. So 
amazing. I would highly recommend them if you have not tried, um, but I'm sure you probably have. Um, usually when we do these videos, I tend to rate the candy or snack after I've tried them. Now, that's more exciting when you haven't tried half the snacks. I think I'll still rate them anyways. Um, but I think gummy bears, definitely a solid, a solid eight, possibly even a nine. I think, I think an eight for the gummy bears. Absolutely amazing. I could eat them all day if I could. So they definitely get an eight from me. All right. Now I do want to switch things up every so often. So I think we'll move on to something a bit chocolatey next. No, I think we should get on to what you've all been waiting for. I mean, I say that, but we're going to open up the Kinder Surprise. No, a Kinder Surprise, for those who don't know, is basically like a chocolate egg. Kinder obviously being a very German word. And it's called a surprise because inside of the chocolate egg you actually get a little toy. Uh, in fact, as you can see on the back, it says warning toy inside. Small parts. Adult supervision. Recommended. I can't quite read it from when I turn it round, but yeah, basically there's a toy inside the egg. So it's quite exciting. And uh, I'm not sure why there's a fox on the front. Maybe they're trying to sponsor something, but um, yeah, let's open this up. I love Kinder chocolate, so. And it's been, you know, a good, gosh, seven or eight years since I've had a Kinder egg, so. However, I do have one slight problem with Kinder chocolate, <clears throat> and to me, it's that I feel like I couldn't have too much of it. I feel like I would get, I would, I would start to feel quite sick after a little, a little while. It's very sweet, very sugary, and um, it's definitely something that is very, very tasty when add in little amounts, if that makes sense. But other than that, that was amazing. All we have to do now is open up this little toy. No, I cannot remember how you open it, if there's like a certain way, but um, I'll try and do it. There we go, just pop it open. And in 
inside. What is this? Some sort of dinosaur. Let's take a look here. Oh, it's not a dinosaur. It is. Oh, wow, we've got everything going on here. Let me take a quick read of what this says first. is just showing me how to build it but essentially we have this little toy that we can fit together if I can can't believe I thought this was a dinosaur I can't even build this I can't even put it together uh, let me let me get this going come on come on snap on Here's me saying I don't need the instructions, and then my inability to put it together. Hey, there we go. <laughs> there we go, guys. How cute is that? The lead wobbles. You're gonna sit right in the background of the video and not go through all my food like they usually do. But that was quite fun. And it comes with a little instruction manual to show you how to put it together. And you know, these are just little cheap toys. The, the chocolate itself is less than about a dollar. Um, so yeah. Anyways, let's move away from the chocolate for a minute. Because a lot of this could be very sickly. And we'll go on to something that I haven't tried before. That is Mawam Blocks. Now I've seen these before, but I've never tried them before. And um, they look really, really tasty. So you can see we get what looks to be four different flavors. Uh, I would assume raspberry, strawberry, lemon, and cola would be my guess, but I know you can definitely get orange and cherry flavored ones of these as well, I think. But this is, oh, I forgot to rate the egg. Let's give the egg like a seven. I'll give it a seven, I think. Yeah, the egg gets a seven. Let's open this now and um, we'll try maybe one of each, shall we say. Open 
this up here for you guys. <laughs> oh, that one smells very, very sweet. flavor raspberry 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 which I'm excited for because I love raspberry flavored things so just checking yeah you do get five in a packet so that means I've got 25 in total of these which for the price I paid for them isn't all too bad to be honest
smell good, put it that way, they smell very good. Here we go, so we have a Brenton Roller Biscuit. This is what it looks like. We've got chocolate inside, and what's that on the back? Oh well, who would have guessed? It's like a little Prince. ASMR is the only genre of video you can get away with playing with your food beforehand. Let's just try it. Here we go. Very 
very, very tasty biscuit. Which is called Leibniz. Now it actually says Balsen Leibniz. I don't know if that's a place where it's produced or if that's a person. I think it's a place. Um, but it's Oh, it says Balsen, Hanover, Germany. I don't know what Leibniz is, then maybe it's a person. I'm definitely going to get destroyed in the comments for saying that. But these are Leibniz biscuits. So another chocolate biscuit, and this one says... The DED sign shows hieroglyphics of a rising sun and snake. Herman Balsen discovered it in Egypt. The thought is everlasting. That was his goal, to build something that endures four generations later. It is still our goal. That's that little sign, the, the sign there in the back, DED. So this is a crisp biscuit, squarely set into milk chocolate tablet. Let's just open this up and get drying, shall we? Looks like it has a seal to break, but I'm not going to be able to do it, am I? the Gioco Leibniz Balsen as well. On the back as well you can see the biscuit side. And then there's the chocolate side. It smells pretty much identical to the Prince Biscuit. Maybe slightly darker chocolate I think. Let's just give it a bite. similar to the Prince Biscuits. The texture is slightly different. I think that maybe gets like a 7, that one there. Again, something that I probably get quite sick of quite quickly anyways. Like, don't get me wrong. It's still amazing. Anyways, let's move on to do, 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 something I have not tried. still looks very interesting. And that is a Milka bar. Now Milka is German. Um, I cannot see where it says it's produced. But it is German. I remember seeing it online saying that it's German so that's why I picked one up. Now I believe they do lots of different flavors, but this one is Oreo flavor, which seems very, very interesting. And um, it's definitely going to be a fun thing to try. 
never even tried a normal milk cup bar, let alone an Oreo milk cup bar, so. Let's open it up. Just have a couple here. We've got a uh, raspberry flavor. It might be strawberry. I can't actually remember. We'll go with raspberry, um, apple, and cola. So let's give these a little try.
definitely a teeth wrecker. I'll have to go and brush my teeth after this. But um, I love Mauan pinballs. I pretty much always have and always will. And I will also always hate this wind for being very, very loud. Again, I apologize. I think these are going to get probably a nine from me. They're very, very tasty. If you have not tried these and you like candy and you're like me, definitely give them a go. So, so good. Alright, we only have a couple more left to try. Now, this second to last one that I'm going to be drawing, I haven't tried this particular kind before, and that's Kinder Bars. Of course, I've tried Kinder Chocolate. I literally had some in this video, but I never had a Kinder Bar before, and I think they looked pretty cool. So, I think we'll open these up, give one a little try, and um, see what we think about it. So, let's open this up. of it chocolatey. Again, it's one of those chocolates that is amazing, like so, so tasty, but will definitely get me feeling a bit sick after maybe probably even just one bar, to be fair. Definitely will be giving some of these to my family, but I liked it, don't get me wrong. I think it maybe gets like a seven and a half. It's easier to and the, the egg, at least. The egg's quite exciting that you get. Get a toy inside it. But they're definitely easier to eat and could be quite fun to stick in like a lunch box or <coughs> take with you in a picnic or something like that. I don't know. But that was good. I enjoyed that. I very much enjoyed that. And that brings us to the last candy or snack of the night. And this one again is something I've never tried before. But I've seen in shops. I've seen this in shops, just never tried it. Mainly because I didn't know it was German, but... These are... Now I'm gonna say this wrong, but I'm gonna say Further's. Further's Originals. Further's Originals. And, um... They... Creamy caramel filling, I think. I'm not actually too sure what they are. Oh, okay, so on the back they say butter candies filled with caramel cream. Interesting, interesting. And they're produced in Berlin. Well, there you go. Couldn't get even more German if you tried. So we're gonna open these up, get one a try. Kind of look to be like a hard candy to me, so it might be a good way to see out the video too. So let's give it a little taste, shall we? That must be the 
easiest thing to open all video, right? And they come in little packets. sugary. Oh, it's, it's not a hard candy. It's soft. Crunchy. very 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 tasty again I don't know what it is about German candies and them just being so sickly I don't know if you guys in Germany get that you know like you have very small amounts when you eat your candies and snacks but I definitely found you know at least way more than 50% of these the sort of candies that I would have very little amounts of before I started to feel sick. Like right now, I'm definitely gonna go and have to brush my teeth, have a drink of water to cleanse my palate and everything. But they were definitely tasty. I love the caramel. Didn't expect them to be crunchy. Thought they were more of a hard candy. But they were good. I think they get about a seven, maybe seven and a half. Not too sure. But uh, anyways, that is going to just about do it for tonight's video. I have a lot of fun making these videos mainly because, you know, I get to eat different candies and try different candies from around the world whilst helping you guys relax, helping you all be entertained and fall asleep. So I really hope that you did enjoy this too. If you did, then be sure to drop a big thumbs up. Would really help out the channel. And let me know in the comments down below what country would you like to see me try candies from next? Um, some of the ones I've been looking into are places like Mexico. Um, I've had a lot of people say uh, the Netherlands have some interesting ones, Sweden, um, places like that. So let me know what you guys think. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. And good night, guys. Good, good, good. so